Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at some would you rather scenarios. So I wanted to try something a little different today since I didn't have um, enough videos in the discord to do a make me laugh video this week. Um, so remember, if you want to send in some make me laugh videos, videos you think are funny and will make me laugh, make sure to join our cookie jar discord. The link will be in the description. Um, but for this week, I wanted to try something a little different. So we're going to look at some would you rather scenarios scenarios and pick our choice and we cannot pick both or neither those are the two rules we have to pick one uh, so without further ado let's get right on to the would you rather scenarios all right here we go so I have found a video for us that is a bunch of would you rather scenarios involving food so remember the two rules we can't say both and we can't say neither and so I'm gonna be looking at these from a mindset of like what would I have right now and so let's look at this first one here. It's not gonna be easy. Would you rather eat a hamburger or fried chicken? Okay, hamburger or fried chicken? I'm going fried chicken. Fried chicken, 100%. Next up, pizza or pasta? Ooh. Listen, I'm a pasta person. I'm 100% a pasta person. Choose one snack. Oh, okay, hold up, hold up. This is literally a no-brainer for me because I am Lay's all the way. Like Pringles, in my opinion, have no right being compared to Lay's chips. I'm just being 100% honest with that. Like who here, comment down below if you like Pringles more than Lay's. Like I can't be the only one that's like Lay's 100%. Like any flavors of Lay's is better than like any flavor of Pringles, 100%. Like the Lay's, like especially the ones you see, like the classic, the sour cream and onion, the barbecue, like the Lay's or the, the Pringles version of those Lay's chips, it's, it's not comparable in my eyes. Like Pringles, they just have like a weird texture to them and the chip isn't crunchy like a Lay's chip. Like Lay's chip is like, this is a potatoes chip. A Pringles chip is like, this is a weird piece of cardboard with some kind of flavoring on it. Lay's 100%. But do comment down below if you like Pringles and let me know why. Because I know the Lay's is my preference 100 times out of 100. Lay's 100%. Would you rather have a gold burger or gold ice cream? What? Wait, is this a real thing? Is this burger on the left a real? It doesn't look real. That does not look real. Like, this looks like actual tinfoil and not bread. This on the bottom is definitely not bread. Or at least I hope it's not because it looks like it's burnt to all heck. What is this like pre-popped popcorn? kernels like what is happening with this burger like the ketchup okay what this looks like actual gunk okay i mean i guess the golden ice cream at least the ice cream looks like ice cream this does not look like an actual edible burger so i guess ice cream is this a real thing like is does this actually exist or is this something that they made up like let me know because I have never seen anything like this before. I mean, this just looks like a vanilla ice cream cone with like maybe some caramel and I guess gold nuggets. I mean, I don't know. This is a weird question in my opinion, but I guess the ice cream. That's just so odd. So weird looking. Yum, yum. Which one would you choose? Okay. Again, actually not even a contender here like these in my opinion like straight up chili cheese fries 10 times out of 10 like a hundred times out of a hundred because I know there's there's people that think I don't have the best food takes and I kind of understand that but jalapenos to me are, is probably the most disgusting food like I don't know I can't get behind jalapenos I've tried jalapenos in different ways not for me. So seeing like jalapeno cheddar fries, I'm like, why would you ruin cheddar fries? <laughs> but chili cheese fries, on the other hand, chili cheese fries are like, okay. 
I don't like chili on fries. It's kind of like a weird thing for me. But chili cheese versus cheddar jalapeno, like chili cheese 100%. Yeah, 100%. Would you rather get donut or brownie? Oh, okay. Okay. I almost need to specify here. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. I almost need to specify here. Where is the donut coming from? Because if it is anywhere other than Dunkin' Donuts, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it, but I will say this donut right here on top is my favorite kind of donut. I love the like Dunkin' Donuts. I don't get donuts from anywhere else because anywhere else it's like they either have like a glaze on it and glazed donuts are disgusting in my opinion. I do apologize if anybody like loves glazed donuts, like Krispy Kreme donuts. If you love them, I love that you love them. I do not love them. Um, I don't like the glaze on donuts. I like, like a plain donut with some strawberry frosting on it and some sprinkles like this is my ideal donut right here am i five years old in my taste buds probably <laughs> because this is just like peak donut for me like i don't want anything i don't want it filled with jelly or nothing i don't want nothing in my donut i want a plain donut with sprinkles and some strawberry frosting or maybe some chocolate frosting that is it now brownies on the other hand Brownies can also be hit or miss depending on where you get them from or if you make them at home, depending on like what box brand you get of brownies, like that can also depend. But if I had to choose like one right now, what's winning me over is the brownie with the chocolate sauce. If it was just brownies, I may go donut, but the chocolate sauce is winning me over. So we're going to go with brownies for this one solely based on the picture. <laughs> TikTok decision await. Ooh. Okay, so like, how are you supposed to compare these two? Because fish sticks is more of an entree. And I see mozzarella sticks. Hold up, you're going too fast for me, little sushi rice pod dude. Um, These are hard to compare, in my opinion, because fish sticks is more of like an entree. And mozzarella sticks is more of like a side dish. So it's like how so am I comparing these as if like I'm gonna eat mozzarella sticks as an entree <laughs> I guess so so if I were to have like a snack right now would I get fish sticks is this ketchup do y'all eat ketchup with your fish sticks like I've been told I'm weird before because I eat cocktail sauce with my fish sticks like you know you do like shrimp and cocktail sauce I like cocktail sauce with my fish sticks but this does not look like cocktail sauce <laughs> this looks like ketchup which makes me not want the fish sticks um mozzarella sticks on the other hand can again be very hit and miss because some some restaurants will like fill that thing to the brim with cheese and it is glorious others it's like you break apart the mozzarella stick and you're like this is all bread where's the cheese give me the cheese but these look really good. Like you see how it's, it's full cheese, like breading cheese and there's like no space in between. That's the kind of mozzarella sticks that I want. So the, the mozzarella sticks are winning me over. Mozzarella sticks, some marinara sauce. Yes, please. Corn dog or hot dog? Ooh. Oh. Wait. <laughs> okay, wait, wait wait hold up okay listen I love hot dogs I love corn dogs more like nine out of ten times if I am given the choice between a corn dog and a hot dog I will go corn dog but these corn dogs <laughs> these corn dogs dude what is happening with this breading these do not look like corn dogs it looks like like why why is it like crumbly like that is this normal for corn dogs to be crumbly like this? Because when I think of a corn dog, I think of like a smooth, like cornbread, sweet bread kind of thing around the hot dog itself. That that does not look like what I think a corn dog should look like. And also, who puts ketchup and mustard on their corn dog like this? Like you put it on the top as you eat it right is is there anyone that does this you put you put ketchup and mustard on your corn dog before you eat it 
that's just not natural in my opinion <laughs> that's not natural also I would say does anybody remember especially people from like like my age I'm like 24 almost 25 when you went to school and you got breakfast and they had the breakfast corn dogs and I think they may even like sell them in like freezer aisles and stuff at like the grocery store and you legit have like a sausage link wrapped like a pancake wrapped around it like that is that is the best thing ever um anyway I'm getting sidetracked but anyway these corn dogs do not look like corn dogs so if I'm picking between the pictures I would go hot dogs but if I'm thinking about like right now would I rather make a hot dog or would I rather warm up some corn dogs I would pick corn dogs so we're gonna go corn dogs I just don't want those corn dogs Would you rather treat yourself some Rocky Road ice cream or berry ice cream? I wish they had some better options for ice cream. So when I think about ice cream, I think like cookies and cream, mint chip. I think about like a good like cherry vanilla or like a fudge swirled vanilla. Rocky Road, see, see how it's like it's chunky. It's got all kinds of chunks. I don't like chunks like that in my ice cream. Um... I think Rocky Road also has like, I think like peanuts and marshmallows. I don't want either of those in my ice cream. Berry ice cream, on the other hand, if they use real fruit to like make the ice cream, it it can sometimes have like a weird texture to it, like a, like a grainy texture. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Like berry ice cream. Now, if it is a smooth berry ice cream, no problem. But I also don't want chunks of berries in my ice cream. So if I had to pick one, I would pick Rocky Road ice cream because I know that at least the ice cream itself will have a, a decent texture whenever I eat it. And I'll just pick out whatever these chunks are. <laughs> and I can eat around, you know, whatever. But berry ice cream, if the whole thing is like tainted with a terrible texture, I won't eat it. So we'll go with Rocky Road ice cream on this one. Don't forget to share your choice in the comments. A Grimace shake? What is that? What is that? A Grimace shake? Hold up. Hold up. Okay, hold up. So a Grimace shake is a berry blended shake. So it's kind of like the same thing we did before where it's like berry ice cream versus <gasps> Oreo McFlurry dude okay if mcdonald's so this is on the very rare once in a blue moon once in a lifetime scenario where mcdonald's ice cream machine actually works so we're taking it like we have come across a miracle by the lord himself and has blessed us with a round through the mcdonald's drive through where they tell you that yes we can make your ice cream for you and it's a glorious day when that happens. Oreo McFlurry, a billion times out of like anything ever. Oreo McFlurry. Like, I don't know what these things are. I don't want these little, these little, what are you? <laughs> I don't want, I don't want these little poofs of whatever these are tainting my Oreo McFlurry. Just give me the Oreo McFlurry. Thank you. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this new style of video, make sure to let me know by leaving a thumbs up. Uh, and if you want more reaction style videos like this and you have more ideas, uh, let me know down below of what you would like to see. Maybe I could even do a tier list for you guys if you all would like that. Uh, but make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you never miss a video no matter what it is that I post. Um, and our next video will be tomorrow. We will have our first Wii Sports video going up on the channel and I'm really excited. I hope you all are excited as well. And as always, I'll see you there. Bye guys.